Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, welkom bij een gloednieuwe video op het kanaal. Het is eindelijk tijd voor de Pokémon Presents van 18 augustus 2021. Um, het is vijf minuten geleden begonnen, maar uh, ik kan natuurlijk vanaf het begin kijken. Ik was net niet op tijd om hem helemaal live te zien, maar wel live genoeg om te kijken. Ik heb er in ieder geval heel erg veel zin in. Ik hoop jullie ook en dit is mijn live reaction. Laten we kijken. Dat was een beetje hard. Oh. Hij blijft op twee seconden vaststaan. Nice. Oh, oh ik kan hem een stukje doorspoelen in ieder geval. Hallo everyone. Ik ben Utsunomiya van de Pokémon Company. Oké. Okay. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First. We'd like to share some news about Pokémon's first strategic team battle game, Pokémon Unite. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has yeah. already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. Okay, nou ik heb hem op de Switch, dus op mobile is niet mobile echt nodig. Pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Okay. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokémon Unite. Ah. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. That's best Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope you'll all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Okay, interesting. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a oh, launch yeah. bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version of making accounts. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokémon that are slated to join in future updates. Oh, that is fucking nice! Memo Swine? Oké, okay, dat is vet. Sylveon. Die had ik wel verwacht, Sylveon. Maar wel gewoon vet. Oh, dat zijn de enige twee. Blast, daar hoor je helemaal niks meer van. Look forward to more from Pokémon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Maar dit is geen game. <laughs> A revamp, okay. Pokemon Cafe Mix is getting a revamp. Spannend. And with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Waarom? The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. Oké, okay, ik heb dit heel even gespeeld. Dit was op zich wel een oké okay game, maar ik weet niet zo goed waarom. Pokémon new to Pokémon Cafe Remix okay. and new dress-up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokémon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Okay, interesting. Pokémon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Raar, maar okay. Dus N komt naar uh, Masters. Twee jaar alweer. Dynamaxing is hier. Signasuit Leon has arrived and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hop to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently okay. underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. Okay. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Okay, grappig. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. 
villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story turns Rainbow a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't okay. want to miss it. Oh, five year Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. What? The Ultra no? Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. local time. Players can look forward to seeing Wooloo, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in 5-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Oopa. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. I don't know, are the generation 6 and 7 already out of Pokemon Go? Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Diamond. Now the real games Cute. Ah, third week. <laughs> Dat was grappig. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokémans. Professor Rowan. Oh. Ja, dat heb je nou wel Rowan. Ja, het is echt een true remake, zie ik al. Hé, hey, het Pokémon loopt achter je aan. Dat is wel vet. Ik denk dat heel veel mensen dat vet vinden. Het boeit mij niet zo heel erg, maar ik denk wel dat je daar heel veel mensen blij mee maakt. Ja, Jim ziet er exact hetzelfde uit. Oh, dit is wel grappig. Die Pokéball customizer. Union Room. Het is echt een copy-paste, is het. Maar dat is niet erg, maar dat, dat wisten we van tevoren. Hé, hey, dat is wel vet. Dat is heel vet. Dat je dat kan aanpassen. Oh ja, contests, ja. Oké, okay, interessant. Explorer Kit. Nice dat ze dat ook nog steeds doen. Oh, dat is leuk dat het er nog steeds in zit. Ik vond het echt leuk om te doen. What the fuck is dit? Wat yo? Dat is nieuw. Giratina. Oh ja. Yeah. Team Galactic. Galactische team. Misschien zouden ze dat nog teasen?
Negen winnen bij Worst. Zin in. Zin in. Niet echt veel nieuws, behalve dat het uh, stukje Explorer Kit en dat de Pokémon achteraan lopen, maar dat is wel veel. Pokémon Brilliant Diamond en Pokémon Shining Pearl is nu just 3 months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. After 15 years, Pokémon Diamond and Pokémon Pearl have been reborn into Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Pokémon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokémon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokédex. Along with your partner Pokémon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, Pass down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. Oh, oh the music this revamp is, is ook Rowan, nice. Who entrusts you with a Pokemon? He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Je kan hem zelf een naam Mark geven. Mark is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses rock type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating Cynthia. myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base That's and fair. decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond no. and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokémon that appear in the Pokémon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It oh, okay. seems that some of the Pokémon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to oh, fully that's so explore bad. the Grand Underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokémon spring out of Pokéballs. This such is as fair. confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokémon battles even more fun. Yeah, I find it a grappig. One new feature that was not available in Pokémon Diamond and Pokémon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. These fat cyber style on your adventure. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Perfect. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Feto. Yeah, I got echt veel zin in now. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also okay. be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with 
art of the legendary Pokemon Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx, Dialga and Palkia edition that was released back in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. Grappa. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus nice. game, which is being developed by Game Freak. Wel jammer dat ze deze voor de starter hebben gekozen. Die is nou wel oké. Okay. Dan heb je deze voor de starter. Keuze is wel makkelijk. Ja, dat wisten we al. Starly! <laughs> Starly zijn toch cool. Lili lili loop. Hey, Breath of the Wild. Well, hey, Dirt Vickies. Guard of War. Bonita. The Fairies. Gastrodon. Oeh, die uh, Salzburg is ook vet. Of was dat een, uh, een custom uh, standler? Dat kan ook nog. Het ziet er wel gaaf uit. Echt teleurgesteld over die starters. Maar ik zal er niet meer over brengen. Wel cool. Het enige wat me een beetje tegenstaat, denk ik, is dat het ook weer gebaseerd is op Sinnoh. Waardoor je de hele tijd met Sinnoh bezig bent, zeg maar, snap je? What the fuck is dat? Een Sinnoh Broder? Wat is dit? Een Sino Braviary? Wat is dit? Een evolutie van uh, Baskele of zo? Ja, dit is de Sino Stander dan, wat ik net al zag. Holy shit. Boze Urshan en Boze Garibald. Een soort bosses of zo. Auw. En die Braviary ook hoor. En deze Basculin evaluatie. Denk ik. Dit is even een god, maar dit denk ik. Oh, die fuck aan mooi. Serbië heeft weer genoeg te doen. Not actual gameplay footage. Oké. Okay. Oh, dit is anime of zo? Oh, dat is... Ah, got it. 28 januari. Holy shit. Dat was de laatste trailer voor Pokémon Legends Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Holy shit. Pokémon 
Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. This is all on the radio, Hisui. Over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. Oh. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. Jubilee Village. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people oh, from various shit. other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. Professor Laventon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader okay. who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. Holy shit, when the effort. commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member half, of the yeah. Survey Corps. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key Come to unlocking the, the true the purpose variants. of your adventure. And in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones. Ik krijg er echt een beetje Black of the Wild, Bread of the Wild uh, gevoel. Wat is dit voor Bear of the Pokémon? You'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokémon. Take too much damage from their attacks and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokémon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. In Pokémon Center. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. That was echt vet. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee. So you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile Style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong Style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek Grappig. out and meet lots of different Pokemon. To oh, this is actually a game for me. I find it now all fat. Now we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the natural environment of the Hisui region. 
It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. Eindelijk nieuwe Evo's, eindelijk. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculegion. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. Fair. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great Hisui and Braviary. Is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to yeah, generate Yeah, I thought it was just a Pokemon. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, Hisui is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. Whoa, is it a rock type? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out wow. on the day when you can finally this is what meet the Nintendo people Nintendo people Nintendo Pokemon of the Hisui region dude. for yourself. Holy shit. I'm echt blij. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. Fat. Fucking fat. We also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus. That's my service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices in 2022. The only thing that Legends Arceus now can verpest is that there are no Shinies in it. As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Ooh, daar Those zullen heel veel mensen boos over zijn, denk ik. We, yeah. we hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Jij ook bedankt. Krijgen we nog... Uh... Nee. Wauw. Wauw. Echt vet. Echt vet. Oh, ik, mensen, ik ben fucking blij. Ik ben fucking blij. Het is echt, echt heel tof, wordt het. Iedereen bedankt voor het kijken van deze video. Vond je het nou een leuke video? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Heb je ook super veel zin in de game? Laat het weten in de reacties. En dan zie ik jullie heel graag weer. Oh, bij de volgende video. Ik heb nog maar één ding te zeggen. Dat is adios, amigos.